You know, you click on the right button, you get the better response, get the better outcome. Good morning, everybody. It is Friday. It is a rainy, thundery Friday, but I do see clear blue skies right over there. At least here in North Alabama, anyway. I don't know. Let's see what the radar says. I think the radar says it's going to be clear blue skies for a couple hours. Woohoo! Man, we have had rain out the wazoo. Um, hey, good morning. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Tom Rigsby, the unashamed nonconformist. Today is free coaching Friday right here on the big show called seven minutes in the morning where I take roughly seven minutes or so, spend that time with you, giving you thoughts and encouragement to help you get the day started. When you get here, if you would do what my friend Joe just did and leave a comment, say hi. Thumbs up that video, like it, share it with the network. All of those things will be awesome and acceptable. You know what? I, uh, so I'm so not used to having this in my routine. I don't have it. So I've got a, uh, I mean, where, oh, it's turned upside down. So I've got a planning card here that I use to do the show. I, I've got to write the sponsor in there. We have a sponsor for the show, Dollar Shave Club. I don't have any ad copy for them yet. That's on its way. But when it gets here, I'll have a much better ad. But you can go check out the offer, the first razor for it, first, uh, first set of razors for a dollar, I think it is. Go to tomrigsby.com slash shave. Um, no, I'm not going to start shaving. I'm using their other stuff. All right. Anyway, today, this week, we've talked about opportunity a lot, a lot of different aspects of opportunity today. Free Coaching Friday. I want to talk to you about how to implement some of the things that we talked about this week because having the opportunity is not the same. Well, thank you, Joe. They are great products. Um, Having an opportunity is not the same as executing on it. And I've kind of gone back and forth. I've talked to a couple of people this week to get their feedback. It's kind of interesting. Opportunity is a set of circumstances where you can create a result. But creating the result is still up to you. Now, whether an opportunity is appropriate for you or not, that's something we talked about on Tuesday, depends a lot on the big picture, the end result, the big goal that you have. Right? If your goal for it, here's just an example. If your goal is to have complete time and location freedom, then uh, accepting a job that requires you to be in this office building between the hours of eight and five, Monday through Friday, probably not moving you toward that goal. The big goal. Now there may be some shorter interim goals that it does help with, but that's just an example. You have the big goal laid out there. You have an opportunity to present itself. Now you can use the big goal as evaluation criteria for the opportunity. But how do you pull the trigger on that? That's where most people get stuck. After we get past the idea of, man, I've got all these opportunities going on. How do I choose the right one? Well, now we've talked about that. How do you pull the trigger on it? Actually, it's really simple, right? You make it a priority. Okay, that's it for the show today. No, I mean, really, it's not any more complicated than that. (laughs) Joe's reminding me of stuff to to mention. It's not any more complicated than actually doing the work. Now, uh, and and you may have heard me say this before, you can really only have one priority at a time. If you start the day and say, I have five number one priorities today. No, you don't. You have five things that you're going to run around all day trying to figure out how you can get done. You won't give your best and highest effort to any of them. If you do get one of them done, it'll be half-assed. And if you don't, then you got five things that are now your priority tomorrow, plus the thing that would have been the priority tomorrow. So now you have six. Just pick one. Give your best and highest effort to that one. If that one is this opportunity, awesome. Knock it out of the ballpark, right? Don't be, don't be, look, let me show you something here. I read, I'm working myself. Look, this is a serious book, right? But look at all those tape flags I've got in there. 
This is uh, Tools of Titans by Tim Ferriss. This, this, these are excerpts out of, uh, I think, about 100 podcasts that he's done. And the one I read this morning, so usually what I'll do is just find one and turn to it and read just that interview. And uh, this is the one that I read this morning. Sean White, snowboarder extraordinaire, and he's from Southern California. <laughs> L.A., in fact. How do you become a snowboarder if you live in L.A.? Well, he, he decided that that's what he wanted to do, and he found ways to make it happen. Right? He had opportunities present themselves, and he executed on them. And he tells the story of one competition that he went to where everybody else there, everybody else there was invited because they were invited, their transportation was provided, their hotel was provided, they gave them a, a stipend for you know food and entertainment. He paid his own way there. He paid for his own hotel, paid for his own food, even paid an entry fee to get into the, the competition. So the night before, all these other people who had been invited went out and partied. Well, they showed up the next morning and told him that they had decided... You know, they were, they were toast. They were just going to go out and put on an exhibition and they'd split the prize money. And he said, I'm not doing that. I'm giving it my best and highest effort. And he won. That was the first competition that he won. Won $50,000 in a car. <laughs> and everybody else was mad at him. Right. And we've talked about this before, the herd mentality. He was getting out of the herd. But. You know, he saw an opportunity and he executed on it. That's all you have to do is execute on it. After that, celebrate. And really, it doesn't even matter whether you're successful on your execution or not. Celebrate the fact that you did. Because the thing that separates you from everybody else, the thing that separates you from the herd, is your willingness to execute. That's it. That's all it takes. Do you believe that when they go out there to play a baseball game every day that they intend to win? I think they do. Most teams. Right? They don't win every day, but every day they go out there and they intend to win. How is it when you're playing a series against a team that's beaten you two of the last three days or three of the last four days, how can you go out there on the last day and intend to win? You just do. Chipper Jones called that necessary arrogance. The, the thought that I can go up here and hit a home run off this pitcher who struck me out 20 times. Necessary arrogance, right? We've taught, we're, we're taught not to be arrogant, not to be too proud of ourselves. But if you don't believe you're the best at what you do, who's going to believe it for you? Okay, there you go. That's the end of Free Coaching Friday. I got on a little bit of a, a little all, all just rolled up a bunch of good stuff today. Speaking of opportunity, as Joe has pointed out, if you're a guy and you're around Huntsville, the opportunity for you today is to be at the Men of Business. We begin promptly at 11.30. Terra Nova is right off of University Drive. Be there. Be my special invited guest or Joe's special invited guest. We'll share. That's okay. Come by and join us. It's a great food, great group of guys, and I think we'll have some interesting conversation around the table today. 11.30 today at Terra Nova's. Love to see you there, and love to see you back here again Monday morning, 7 o'clock Central, for another installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. Until then, you have a fantastic weekend. Go out there, execute, celebrate on the fact that you are willing to execute and set yourself apart from the herd. Talk to you on Monday. Take care.